Mr. Rosen Park. This is my first time to do my show live from somewhere. I'm always doing Facebook lives and everything. We got Angie. Angie, we did have a good time at the Opry last night. Uh, Twitty and Lynn just killed it. They're doing great. Now, I'm here with Executive Chef Mike Feldman in our Daily Yummy. How long have you been the Executive Chef here for the Nashville Sounds? I've been the Executive Chef here since uh, January 22. When it comes, to, if people don't think chef and baseball mm -hmm. parks as a thing, but it really is the food. It really is that good. So tell me a little bit about how you kind of craft menus and items and things that, that you serve here. So I'm from the East Coast. So a lot of what I do, my background is in seafood, fine dining, everything. Get the opportunity to come down here to concessions and work with um, natural products from the South, local products. It was a dream come true for me especially working around baseball, which I love. So it was great for me to do so. Man, I tell you what, some of the items, do you have anything that's new this year that you're trying out? Uh, new this year, we do have empanadas from a local empanada maker that we have out at the band box. Um, we do have a new band box item called the Doug, named after our VP, Doug Scopel. It is our band box burger with a side of uh, jalapeno corn fritters. And that's been taken off very well this year. Oh, I'll say. We've also added a couple of new sausages. We have our Cajun hot link down at the uh, grill cart and a jalapeno cheddar bratwurst that we're offering. I'm going to tell you, when you drive by where that's being cooked, mm -hmm. it will grab you by the nose and pull you right in to get you. It is so good. Thank you. It smells amazing. Let's talk a little bit about it's Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. It's Cinco de Mayo. And there is something that I don't know if I'm saying it right, but. It's not a nacho, but it's a tacho. Our tachos, yes. Our tachos, fan favorite out at the band box. So we uh, take chicken thighs, we smoke them in the house with our signature barbecue rub, chop them up. We put them over uh, fresh fried tater tots with some uh, pico, some house-made corn pico and lime crema. And it is fantastic. It is just amazing. Okay. We're talking about some of the fancy food. Can you get a hot dog? You can get a hot dog. We have two options. We have our normal six to one hot dog, uh, Hebrew National, and then we have a company out of Indiana called uh, Evergood. I think Indiana, maybe San Francisco. Um, they do an eight inch hot dog for us, uh, natural hot dog. It's great. All beef also. It is not baseball unless I get the hot dog and I get ice cream in a hat. Do you still, now that I used to have season tickets to the sounds and it was mm -hmm. the season where you get the little baseball helmet with the ice cream in it. Do you still can, can kids still, still get that? We still do that. Yes, we still do that. And we also do that out of the band box. We have our buttered popcorn ice cream. What is that? So we take buttered popcorn, we steep it in vanilla ice cream base mm -hmm. for about two days and then strain it and run it through our ice cream maker and top it with uh, caramel and uh, smoked sea salt. A little salty. A little sweet, y'all. That that's like slapping mama good. good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, will you? Let's talk a little bit. A lot of people don't realize that a corporate event, corporate events can be really stodgy. They mm -hmm. can be, you know, they, you know, and the rubber chicken and the green beans at a corporate event, kind of old. You really have a take by inviting people here. The Nashville Sounds have some beautiful meeting rooms and some beautiful banquet facilities right our catering program is great we do uh you know everything is scratch made in house we do a lot of upscale things so our catering menu not is is not what you would typically typically get at a ballpark you know we try to make it more centered around the guests mm -hmm. where did you where did you start chefing <laughs> where did I, you study i mean when did you get started? i studied at a uh, school in baltimore and i worked around baltimore for most of my career and then i got a job under my regional executive chef, Sherry, uh, or chef Jerry Infantino, he got me a job at the Baltimore Convention Center, and that started this mm. whole journey down here to Nashville in uh, 2014. So how do you like Nashville now I that love you're it. here? I love it. It's amazing down here. I love being in the South. It's great. Uh, the country inside is beautiful. It's just amazing being here. I'm, I'm really glad you're here, too, because Thank you bring you. in some things. And one of my favorite items that I have to bring up is the garlic Parmesan fries. Mm -hmm. Do you still have those? Yes, we do. Downstand one. They are okay. they're good. Run, do not walk. Get you some garlic Parmesan fries. One of those delicious hot dogs. Fantastic stuff. And get your tickets, first and foremost. NashvilleSounds.com. You know, have you ever been to Gallatin, Tennessee? No, I have not. 
Well, we the grounds here are beautiful, but Gallatin is kind of gracious and growing. And a few years back, it was chosen by Reader's Digest as the friendliest town in America. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I will have to get out there. And every year they beautify and they have these big, huge hanging baskets. And there are actually people there in the town of Gallatin that take it as their responsibility. So we're going to take a look at the hanging baskets. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. We've had good spring rains versus last year. We started a drought last year in March. So this year we've had consistent rains. It's really helped. Um, this will be the starting the third season on the streetscapes on Eastland. And I think those are the ones that are showing out the most. Well, we've got Larkspur, Poppies, Coreopsis, um, Gallardia. The hollyhocks are getting ready to bloom. Um, Love in the mist, blue flax. You know, it's a long list. They came back well. Um, of course, you know, if there were some empty patches, I reseeded like the poppies, a um, few coreopsis in some of the beds. But, um, and of course, the perennials have gotten fuller because this is the third season. So I. I I hope you notice that there's not a bare patch in those beds at all. Here in town, they start blooming early. I mean, I'm I'm five miles east and I'm two weeks behind downtown. Of course, you know, this is concrete and it's like, what, two or three degrees warmer. But we've had a cool spring, so the flowers will last a little bit longer. Once we keep having 80 degrees, um, they're, they're going to fade, but next week's going to be in the 70s, so they're going to last a little bit longer. Then I'll be tearing those out and planting some summer annuals. Should people be picking the flowers? No, sir. Please don't. Please don't pick the flowers. Have you seen any of that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I had someone come up to me a couple weeks ago, good friend, and I was talking to a gentleman, and she said, there's somebody picking flowers on Eastland. I jumped up and she was teasing me. <laughs> but, you know, I didn't see any daffodils picked this spring. Uh, so I probably wouldn't notice now that the beds are fuller if people are picking, but I do wish they'd refrain so that everybody can enjoy them. You can't see the sights without the sounds. From the crack of the bat to the roar of the crowd and everything in between, Discover what Hit City has to offer. Spend your nights cheering on the Nashville sounds at First Horizon Park with giveaways, fireworks shows, theme weekends, and more. Single game tickets are on sale now. Visit NashvilleSounds.com to claim your seat today. It is time to start your garden. Absolutely. We've moved right in from winter to summertime, so we got to get things in the ground. Well, I like... I like the fact that this right here looks like it's ready to go. Well, you know, it didn't look like that maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago. We got lots of good piles of weeds in the back. Where... Well, I'm looking beside you. Now, you brought professional weeders with you. Well, I brought professional farmers, not just weeders. I brought the professional farmers, uh, the dream team from Green Door Gourmet, to help tackle these weeds, see what we had left from overwintering, if there's anything worth keeping or not and then uh, assessing what's going to go in each of the beds. Well, I saw, interestingly enough, we've had a lot of freezing temperatures over the winter, and the parsley made it through. Yes, and parsley is very, very uh, persistent. <laughs> persistent parsley. It sounds like something from Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales are what you do out at Green Door Gourmet. Yes. And what vegetables have you chosen to plant? So we're going to get you guys started with an early spring planting. So we're going to do some bok choy, some joy choy, um, some different lettuces. We've got some other herbs to kind of revamp where the basil and everything, of course, they, they don't make it over the winter time here in Nashville climate. So we're going to let those come in. We've got seeds for radishes, arugula, and some other great things to put in. That's going to keep you guys going for about a month, month and a half. Planting our salad, stuff that'll, that cool temperatures won't bother. That's right. And then we're going to come back in a month or so. We're going to hook you up with your tomatoes and your peppers and your cucumbers and the ever popular zucchini. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to get the weeds out. They're, then we're going to come back like we did over here. We're going to add some additional um, compost and kind of fluff up the soil a little bit to get okay. everything happy and not so heavy. Mm -hmm. And then we're ready to plant. 
everybody kind of has a different thing going. She's got a little spade and trowel and using her hands. Um, he has um, a gardener's knife. There. Yeah, There's and you know, pansies are edible. Yeah. You throw them in your salad or put them on your dessert, they're great. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Becky over here has got a, a hori hori knife, and that's one of the best weeding tools that you'll ever find if you get one of those. A hori hori knife. Yeah. I've never heard of that in my whole life. Yeah, a Japanese weeding tool. Plant your own garden. Go green this season. Green Door Gourmet has all of the plants and all of the instruction that you need to be great gardeners and farmers. The Green Door Gourmet is located on River Road, west of Nashville at greendoorgourmet.com. Sylvia, you are awesome. At Mid-South Exteriors, our custom sunrooms bring the sunshine in without all the heat and the bugs. And they keep you warm all winter while you enjoy the outdoors all year round. They add real value because we build them like your house to match your house. Or let us save you energy by replacing your windows and old siding. And because we have no retail overhead, we come to you and sell direct to you for less. Call us at 833-8003 or visit us at MidSouthExteriors.com. Tell us a little bit about why Two Rivers Ford wanted to get involved in honoring a citizen doing amazing things. Well, the Mount Juliet community is a special community and we know it and we see it all the time. We have customers that are teachers and volunteers. So we have the new Two Rivers Ford Park or the, or the naming rights to the Two Rivers Ford Park and the Mount Juliet League. And we just thought, how, how awesome would it be just to pick a citizen every month and, and spotlight them, put them on the board, just celebrate the wonderful people in our community. Well, if there's ever a time when we needed that, it's now. So thank you for all you're doing to promote being a great community here in Mount Julia. Absolutely. I'll start out and tell you I had a dream of feeding a thousand people in my driveway pancakes. And I'll let my wife finish the story. <laughs> so he wakes me up in the middle of the night, says we're gonna feed thousands of people. And I thought, oh goodness gracious. Um, so sure enough, we decided we were gonna start this ministry. Um, I didn't know where this dream was coming from, but he kept bringing that dream up. And so in uh, September of 2019, we started Jesus Provisions. And then in March of 2020, the community was hit by the tornado. And so one of the things was um, they were asking, where can they drop off donations? And Fox 17 said, hey, you can drop them off at Jesus Provisions. And we were new um, to the community. So I was like, oh, wow, this is great. You know, we're getting publicized. We're going to get help um, because we were out being the, the boots on the ground for the tornado um, victims. And so um, sure enough, this uh, what, what Boy Scouts, Boy Scouts of America come and they back up a trailer into our driveway and they open up the trailer. And the very first thing that we saw was a ton of pancake mix. And it was huge bags of pancake mix. got pictures of it too. It's amazing. And he was like, "There, there's my dream. And then from there, of course, COVID hit. And so after between the tornado and COVID, um, we started feeding hundreds of people. Because Jesus provides, so Jesus provisions. Um, and we were just really going to go out on a leap of faith and know that he was going to provide for what we were thinking we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's where we came up with Jesus Provision Ministries. Everything that is in that care center food-wise is monitored. 
So it's not, oh, we just shove it in there and we give it to people. They get eggs, they get milk, mm -hmm. you know. I want them to have what I have. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's my philosophy, and I told her we're going to stay with that. Even when eggs went way up, we still do it. When we go downtown, we would like to see more volunteers there. But a lot of people are like, well, I have my church already. I want to go to that church. So, and I can understand that. Um, but if you're sitting on your couch on a Sunday morning wanting to know what to do, uh, we would love to have you on Sunday morning downtown with us. Um, it's a great and humbling experience. Um, and then also donations with the, ec the economic impact right now. Donations are very low. Um, and so that's a struggle because none of us get paid for what we do at all. Um, every bit of the money that we get in into the accounts go right back into our community. If you put your hand on the Bible as a minister, what's the thing that sends you out? Go ye all into the world teaching and preaching the gospel to every creature. It don't matter what town, what state, what color you are. I'm gonna tell you, Jesus loves you. My mama would say, you gotta fight for what is right. To her I would say, I want to give back the world some light mm -hmm. But it's an empty road I feel so alone I forgot what I'm fighting for When the weight of the world keeps you up at night When you're the Nashville Zoo and Dynatrek. Watch out, Mallory, it's right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're here at Dynatrek and we're on the Dynatrek trail right now. And behind me is a Triceratops family. <laughs> oh, I love the little the, the little puppies. <laughs> they have Triceratops puppies. Yes, along the Dynatrek trail, we have these really big, magnificent dinosaurs beside me like the mom and the dad. And we also have babies at a lot of the dinosaurs. So you'll see some familiar favorites like Triceratops, or Brachiosaurus, T-Rex, Megalosaurus. So those familiar fan favorite dinosaurs you know and love are here on the trail, as well as some others that you might have never heard of. And as the summer it gets more vegetation grows up and everything, you really feel like you're in the woods with a bunch of dinosaurs, don't you? You really do. This exhibit just keeps getting more beautiful. The green really starts to fill in as we're getting warmer here. And a beautiful day like today is a perfect day to come and check out Dino Track. And there's wonderful little learning lab things along with each one. So you get to learn about the dinosaur. You get to see and feel what it would have been like to literally walk among the giants. Exactly. Beside every dinosaur is a little education educational signage so you can see which era it was alive in and also uh, get to see its current day counterpart as what it might be related to. And the kids are so excited. I've been watching them. They're running up and reading little things about each one of the dinosaurs. Absolutely. This is an exhibit that is for all ages, for kiddos, for families, for any dino enthusiast. Um, it's 
It's so fun. I love it as well. <laughs> it is wonderful. Well, how long will this be going on? So Dino Truck will be going on until July 30th. So it's here for a while, but be sure to plan ahead and come out and get your tickets. It is $4 extra, so you can get in with your typical zoo admission. And then to get into Dino Truck, you gotta, it's an extra $4 per person. So be sure to plan ahead. Well, we've got some beautiful days ahead. Don't miss them because this is a daytime exhibit, right? Yes, yeah, so this goes on during our normal operating hours, so you can experience Dynatrek anytime from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. For more information, where do they need to go? For more information, you can head on over to our website at nationalzoo.org slash Dynatrek. You'll be able to see all the information, see a little bit about more uh, about what you get to see here on the Dynatrek Trail. Get out of the way, chickens. We're uh, improving the soil uh, as we go along. You know, they're part of the chicken that you can't make chicken salad out of. Joe Kirkpatrick and his brother have a farm about an hour northeast of Nashville. You know, we have a farm uh, in, in Gallatin and it is surrounded by sitting. Uh, it, it's, you know, wooded and beautiful and we're able to harvest hay off of it and, you know, uh, have big gardens and things like that. So we just, you know, we don't want to get rid of this. This is the one uh, that was sort of the family uh, yeah, that's been passed down from generation to generation and we don't want to get rid of it and we don't want to develop it. Because of urban sprawl, it's no longer a good place to raise cattle. So they now have bees and chickens. <laughs> Eggs went up recently. You know, there was a lot of uh, uh, avian flu, I guess, and uh, the, uh, the the disasters with the commercial chicken houses, and uh, we'd 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 already sort of thought about you know food security a little bit. That was sort of in the back of our mind. Uh, best to be prepared. Come on out. So a new small business was launched out of a desire to raise their own food. And since predators can still be a threat this close to the city, they needed protection for their poultry. The varmints are so bad now, you know, people don't hunt anymore, uh, you know, and, and a lot of these species like the foxes and things like that are protected. Uh, you know, we have possums, we have raccoons, we have hawks, uh, we have uh, minks out here now, uh, we have uh, groundhogs, everything loves chicken. Raising chickens also keeps this prime piece of real estate dedicated to agriculture. It's been farmed by the Kirkpatricks since the 1820s. One brother does the sawing and building of the chicken houses. The other keeps them fed and spreads the word. He's the carpenter and the engineer in the family. Uh, yeah, he has all the, the technical skills that we need. Uh, so, you know, when you, when you see our greenhouse and our, our aeroponics and, you know, our, our, our float beds and things like that, he's sort of the brains behind the operation. I'm just more of the, uh, the PR guy. And Joe says the PR pretty much takes care of itself. Years and years of fun uh, and a lot of good food out of it. In Gallatin, Tennessee, I'm Tammy Orinder for RFD TV. Brenda Fielder. When it comes to sunrooms and screen porches, we have more than 60 years experience helping Middle Tennesseans add value to their homes. At Mid-South Exteriors, we install all types of siding, from hardy board to all the new vinyl designs. We also do custom trim, gutters and downspouts, we even do roofing, and of course, energy efficient replacement windows. Our website is our showroom, so we come to you and sell direct to you for less. MidSouthExteriors.com All across the country, people are coming together to speed up what we can learn about health. The All of Us Research Program is calling on one million people to join us as we try to change the future of health. 
for your family, for future generations, for all of us. Visit joinallofus.org and find out how you can become one in a million. Tired of hanging lights every year? We get it. That's why Southern Nights is here to help. We install programmable lighting on your home or business so you can enjoy beautiful, customizable lighting all year round. No more ladders, tangled lights, or cold lights outside. We do the work, you do the celebrating. Call Southern Nights today and take the hassle out of holiday lighting forever. For a free quote, give us a call at 931-241-3074 or visit our Facebook page at Southern Nights. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my soul. Is my song praising my Savior all the day long? This is my story, this is my song praising my Savior all the day long. Thank you for joining us. Whether you're braising cabbage or whether you're looking for fresh herbs or any kind of fresh goodies, you can always find it at Green Door Gourmet, can't you? Including me. I'm pretty fresh. <laughs> you are pretty fresh. <laughs> so thank you for all the great things that you teach us here. Well, it's my pleasure. Part of being a, a member of the community is imparting knowledge when you have mm -hmm. it and being willing to share it. So thank you for the opportunity to do it. Well, you have cooking classes all the time at Green Door Gourmet. Can we tell people about the cooking classes? They're really fun, and they're a great team-building event, too, if you've got a company. We do um, cooking and chop competitions for team-building, mm -hmm. and I'm getting ready to launch a class on Southern Staples. And so you can sign up for a single class or the whole series, and we'll be talking about Southern vegetables and how to season your cast iron and... The difference in grits and cornmeal and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you want to learn how to Southern, I'm your girl. Oh, I love how to Southern. That's great at Green Door Gourmet. You guys, thanks for being with us. If you want to be a blessing, remember, you got to first be, be one. one.